welcome back to my channel today we are diving into something super exciting that is dipseek so dipseek is a open source model that is rivaling open ai's models cloud ai model and all that thing so they are they, you can use dipseek directly from their web so it is very it is a free so you can ask any question here if you want to use their r1 model that is latest model that is competing open ai's own model so you can enable from this and you can use but in this video we are not doing this we are using their api so how you can use their api so in this video i will guide you through setting up the dipseek api sending your first query and even show you a cool demo so stick around till the end okay so let's first see we will be using a fireworks ai so as you see in dipseek for the api we have to we take his uh, premium plan so it will be charging 0 0.27 dollar per million input tokens and dollar 1.10 per million output tokens okay so we have to use this for free so how can we use this free for that we will be using fireworks ai so it is a uh, fastest and most efficient inference engine okay to build production ready compound ai systems so for that first of all login into this and create a api uh, sorry create api key so just go here and here create your api key so you will be getting your first api key just copy that thing and uh, store somewhere because it will not be shown to you for the uh, second time okay so and we'll be using langchain for this so let's start building the code and don't worry i will be sharing this call a file in the description okay so first of all we have to install uh, langchain fireworks so let's just do this thing so the pip install part here is the standard way to install python libraries uh, minus q uh, that stands for quiet and my uh, and you ensures that you are getting the latest version of the package okay now after that we'll be just importing so the langchain fireworks library that connects langchain with fireworks okay so after the installation is done after the installation is done we will be uh, putting this okay so we also use the prompt templates so it is from langchain only then we will be using some import os after that the key that I have got, I have stored in the secrets of the Colab notebook. So because of that, it will be secured in this, and you can uh, use these secrets like this from google.colab import user data, and then user data dot get fireworks API key. So after that, I will I will be getting my API key here from here. Okay, and I will be setting uh, this API key in my environment so now my api key has been sent uh, set in my uh, environment after this uh, you can see uh, i have called a chat fireworks so it uh, it will create an instance of chat fireworks and uh, for that we have to pass model temperature and max retries okay so models so let's go to fireworks and you can see models sorry uh, model library here you can see llm large language model so in from this you can use any of this model and why we are be getting this free so this provides fireworks provides dollar one as a free okay uh, as you can see i will be going into overview uh, let's go to billing part So as you can see remaining credits is 0.97 dollar so they are giving us one dollar as a free credit so you can use that thing so now let's go back to model library from here you can use any of the model so as you can see there is dipseek r1 model dipseek v3 model so whatever model you want to use just go there 
and here also you will get their api reference but okay so from here you can also take this uh, model or you can take uh, copy this thing and just paste this thing here okay so we'll be using that temperature will be set to zero and max set rise is equal to two so max, max set rise means uh, if the api call fails for some reason it will automatically retry up to two times and temperature equal to zero controls the randomness of a response setting it to zero it ensures consistent and deterministic results okay so now let's run this thing then we will be using this llm so first of all llm.invoke so this method sends a query to the dipstick model in this case we are asking a simple but fun question like how many hours are in there strawberry so if you are an ai enthusiast you know how this question uh, is and uh, behind of the o1 model so as you can see we get an answer so let's just print something in good manner output dot content so we will be getting that thing the strawberry contains three hours here are the breakdowns okay then we will be creating a template string so for that uh, like when we have to use uh, uh, what we can say prompt template so because of that so first we have defined a prompt template the template is a string that serves as a structure for our prompt then we have used input variable so whatever the input uh, here in this template string we have to provide here after that we'll be asking same query for this and for the prompt we have to do prompt format so format prompt is a method that takes the input that is our actual query and insert into the template insert into our template where the variable input is placed so this allows us to create flexible and reusable prompt you can change the prompt according to you if you are creating like sql query uh, engine so just write you are an sql expert create and uh, whatever you want to do after this let's invoke the same thing and we are uh, uh, putting input to two strings so we are converting that thing so we'll be getting the generated query as our output let's do this dot content and we'll be getting our answer okay so instead of v3 if we want to use r1 model we can use r1 model also but it will be taking more time because it logically thinks it thinks behind of so it will be taking some seconds to generate the output so let's wait for that thing it is running our code so in this also if we use deep sync r1 it will be taking a little bit more time like let's ask the same question here also so let's see how much time it is taking here you can see the thinking of this this is not the answer this is a thinking of it as you can see so it's thinking only so that same thing is happening here also so it is taking too much time so whenever something complex questions or something complex queries you are asking then you can use this r1 model but it is costly also behalf of that so as you can see here it is for for eight seconds as here it is api so it will be taking uh, a bit more time so okay now the answer is generated so this is the think of it think that okay this is thinking okay let's see this is the question and all that thing and then we have got the answer like there are three instances of letter r in the strawberry so this is how r1 model works and you can use it for free for testing purpose also so i hope this video helped you understand how to get started with dipsic api and how you can integrate it into a project if you have any question or want to see more advanced use cases 
do a comment below and i will be happy to help so if you enjoy this video don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content until next time keep exploring keep coding and i will see you in the next video thank you